What's up athletes? It is so important to stretch after every single workout. And it's definitely something that we all just kind of skim through because we have way more important things to do. But going forward for the long term, the more supple your body is, the more you're adapting flexibility also into your training, the more you're going to prevent injury and you're able to train long term. So just take five more minutes, stretch it out and make that a part of your routine. I'm gonna show you my stretch and it generally starts on the floor. So today here I have an elastic band, it's a bit elastic-y. I would generally choose something less elastic-y or you could even grab a towel if you have at home. So I'm gonna lie down on the floor and I'm gonna pull my leg towards me. Now, a normal range of motion is a 90 degree angle, assuming you're not lifting up your leg. So if you're finding yourself doing this, the other leg comes up, it means that we definitely have a tight hip flexor over here. Try and keep that leg straight. If you want, bend your knees if you're feeling a pain in the low back, but we're gonna hold this here a moment. So 20 seconds or so minimum, at least 30 seconds if you can. And whenever we do a stretch in the end of a workout, we always wanna hold a static stretch. That's holding a stretch in position. So when we start a workout, we wanna make sure that our mobility is active. We wanna make sure that we're moving getting ready for more movement. Whereas when we're done, we can hold something in position for 30 seconds. Now I brought my leg to the side. I have both shoulders on the floor and now I'm gonna bring it to the other side. So remember, about 30 seconds every time. Okay, so in this position, you should feel the inside of your thigh and make sure your hips are not hiking up. So push that hip into the floor, your opposite hip. Don't use your hand for balance can leave both shoulders on the floor also and bring that leg down all right good now switch and do the same thing on the other side leg straight bring that leg towards you nicely done keep breathing try to straighten that leg and now's a good chance also to audit which side is a little bit tighter. Bring it to the other side. And again, keep that opposite hip on the floor without using your hand. Engage the glutes and the external rotators to really help you stabilize that hip. And now bring it to the other side. Good job, keep breathing. Good job. Feel that release in the hip, on the side of your hip, and relax. All right, let's stay down here. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left and then pull in your left knee. If you want, you can press down on that right knee a little bit to intensify the stretch. We're stretching out our piriformis. So you should feel a pinching in your bum, deep, deep in the bum, a little bit on the outside. And if you haven't done this stretch in a while, it should feel a little uncomfortable, but that's exactly why we're doing it, is really to release that hip. This is a common cause for back pain, by the way, a tight piriformis. Your sciatic nerve runs under and sometimes in between the actual muscle, depending on your anatomy. And therefore a tight piriformis can lead to feelings of sciatica as well as low back pain. All right, now keep the legs crossed and let both legs fall to the right. So I still have my right foot on top of my left knee and I'm keeping my shoulders down. You should not feel this in your back. So reposition yourself if you need to. You're really feeling it more on the outside here of your hip. This is more of an IT band stretch. So don't target that low back. All right, let's bring it back up. Now switch, cross left over right. Grab that right leg and pull it in. Again, once you get comfortable, go ahead, press down on your left knee. Keep breathing. Good work. 
the legs are crossed and bring them now to the opposite side. I know it feels like a long time. You're hanging out here wondering when this will be over. But again, I want to remind you the importance of this. If you're listening to an audiobook or you're already getting into your messages, great. Try to kill both birds with one stone. However, do not neglect your stretching. All right, let's get into a tabletop position. We're going to do some cat and cow poses. So pull your chest through your arm. Exhale, drive up towards the ceiling. Inhale, roll in. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. And this time, exhale up into a down dog position. You want to push your heel into the floor one at a time. And then hold for a moment. Try and separate that floor between your hands and your feet. Lift up your right leg, open up the hip, and bring it into pigeon. I have my right knee at my right hand, and I have my foot also here where my hip is. If you want, you can intensify the stretch by bringing that foot up front, or just hang out here. We're also stretching out our right piriformis, our left hip, and if you want, come down onto your forearms or stay here. Up onto your hands, curl the back foot all the way up and switch. Left leg up, open up your hip and bring that forward. Same thing, hang out here, feel your stretch and when you're ready, come down onto your forearm or stay there. We are almost done athletes. Continue to breathe and up onto your hands, curl the back toes, and this time slowly walk your feet to your hands, roll all the way up, circle out those shoulders. We're gonna bring one arm back into a stretch here. And we're gonna look for that angle where we feel the most intense stretch, and it could be more than one. So I'm showing you today several different exercises and movements, but I really want for you to keep a mental gallery of what you want to focus on the most according to what feels the most tight. Switch to the other side. This is a great chest opener and really great and important, especially when you are sitting at your desk a lot. Arm up. It. Keep breathing. And all the way up. And break. All right. Final stretch. Bring our hands together. Open up the wrists. Keep those wrists open. And hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and break. Great work, that last one was a nerve stretch, so may have felt a little bit funky. Now there are other stretches to do also with your neck. So again, it really depends on what feels sore, what you've worked out today. If you felt your arms, focus more on your arms. If you felt your legs, focus more on your legs. But remember never to neglect, even spending five minutes stretching, using some of these movements and alternating through them is super beneficial, so please keep doing it. All right, athletes, good job today. Now remember, always to refuel and meet me in your next workout.